What is up guys? In this video I will talk about classes and structures in Swift. And well classes and structures uh, are flexible constructs that become the building blocks of your program's code uh, which uh, they convert uh, the entities of your uh, of your application. Um, in this uh, in this slide, we have uh, the class and structure. As you can see, we can uh, we can create uh, classes and structures, and and we can provide them properties, initializer methods. So, for creating a class, we use the keyword class, and and we and we give it the name the name of it. In this case, we call it person. And, and also we have the members, which are the properties and the, the constructor that is the initializer and we can add functionality using uh, methods. And for a structure, and also um, we use the, the keyword struct and we give it the, the name, in this case full name. As, as in the class, a structure has a properties, initializer method. Um, in, this, uh, uh, in this slide we can see that both of them are very similar um, which can allow us to create, uh, uh, to model our, uh, the problem of our application. Uh, but one, one um, differenti differentiation that they have is class uh, allows inheritance which uh, we can use a class uh, and, and use inheritance to inherit some uh, characteristics from another another class so that's that's important to note that uh, structures do not allow inheritance but classes uh, do and we define a class in structures like we in like in the previous slides uh, using the class or the struct keywords. Uh, but when we we when we want to uh, use uh, use them, we need to create in instances. Uh, for the class for the class part, we use uh, uh, we use the the name of the class, and then we uh, provide. Uh, Parentheses, and we can also provide some uh, parameters that uh, could uh, that we want to need to to set the initial state of the instance. But in this case, we are using the default values that that that, that the class has. And also, the structure it is very similar how we 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 create an instance of a class. We use the name of the struct and also the parentheses and and we can optionally pass here the 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 values of the the um, the instance that could have and if we want and after creating the instances if we want to use the the instances we can uh, access uh, their members uh, like uh, here um, we are accessing the age property we are setting with a with a value also, we can get the value that that the the, the property could have. Um, as, as well, we could, we could use the the method that could have. In this case, say hi. In the structure, it is the same. We we can use the the, the members using the dot uh, syntax. We can access the properties uh, or the methods. And as uh, well, we, we can uh, conclude that class and structures are 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 basically uh, the same. So uh, I mean, besides the, the inheritance part that class support and, and structures do not, um, internally classes and structures are managed uh, different. Like uh, classes are treated like uh, reference type and structures like value types and 
we can see here uh, in code uh, this uh, difference. For example, when we create a class instance, um, we are setting here its property h50, and then we are uh, copying this, uh, this instance to another variable. And in this uh, another variable, we are accessing the age and we are uh, changing to 50, 51. And, and if, if we print the, the properties of the two, uh, the two variables, like uh, the, first, the first value was the person that contains the, the, the instance, uh, we can see that uh, it has changed because initially it has the 50 value, but now it has the 51. Why? Well, because when we were assigning here the, 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 mm, to another variable this instance, we, we are uh, copying the reference that we have to, to this instance person. So a steep person variable and CEO person are referencing to the same instance because here we are we are not copying the values we are copying the reference uh, to that to this instance that's why when CO person is uh, changes it one of its properties it also changes the the value that has the the variable steep person right but the steep person only has a reference to, to the instance and CO person as well so that's why we can see that the, this change is reflected also in the steep person. But uh, in value types, uh, it doesn't occur this, uh, this action because when we, we are creating here um, an instance of full name, we are given an, a value last name uh, with a Smith then we are here creating another variable but we are copying uh, this variable is the full name right and then we are changing the last name property but if we uh, print the steep full name uh, last name the property we can see that uh, it conserves uh, it still conserves the values meet but co full name uh, it um, it has another value which is though because we change it here so in this in this part this assignation is uh, we are copying the the value that contains uh, this uh, this variable right that's that's why when we we are changing here we are not accessing to to the to the first instance because uh, structures uh, doesn't have uh, doesn't um, ha doesn't have references. They're just just values. So in this case, we have two different instances. But in the reference type, we just have one instance. And this is the main difference that that we have with structures and classes internally. So that, this is so important to, to remember when we were choosing uh, between classes and structures when, when we were modeling uh, our application. So then mm, we, 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 we will be in this situation choosing between these, these types uh, of uh, um, of type the, 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 between between value and reference type, right? So, the, as a general general guide, uh, we use struct when we are uh, modeling uh, simple data. In this case, we are we we are modeling the the full username. So, uh, we will have only two two properties, right? And also the 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 properties here are also validized because the strings are uh, created as as structs. That means that they, they are treated as valid types. So it makes sense that also the 
the entity that we are creating here should be uh, an struct. And when we are choosing to use reference type, um, it is uh, because we are modeling uh, complex data. For example, for instance, in this part, uh, we are using inheritance because uh, it is uh, it is an, it is necessary to 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 use here because we need uh, um, functionality that uh, that a framework uh, will provide us. So that's that's one important thing that uh, if we want to use inheritance, we need to use a class. Also um, the the properties that this uh, entity could have uh, are uh, also reference type because UI button, UI text field are uh, are classes. So you can see clearly here that uh, this entity is a good candidate to be a class. So um, um, you. This, this, these are the, the rules that you will use when, when, we, when you want to, to choose between uh, using a struct or class. Uh, also remember that internally uh, classes and structures are treated as uh, value or reference type. Values types are copied between, between assignation, but reference type uh, are, are copied by, by reference. So that's that's the that I, I want to cover in this in this video. Um, I will I will be creating more videos about uh, more topics of Swift. So thanks for for watching this video. Uh, until next time.